Dear Nicole Arbor, you don't know me and that's fine, but I watched your video this morning and I really need to get this off my chest. I need to explain why you are making all white women look bad. The video that I'm talking about is your copy of This Is America, which you subtitled Women's Edit. And I'm gonna to explain to you why you should never have made this video. All right, first and foremost, um, you straight up plagiarized someone else's idea. And not only have you plagiarized someone else's idea, you've done it from a, a, a black artist, a Japanese director, and a black choreographer who worked on this in order to talk about racial violence and racial issues. And you come along and you appropriate all of their techniques, their imagery, the song, everything about it, and you just lazily stick on your concerns as a white woman. Um, that is, I would call that plagiarism, because you might as well have taken an essay that last year was marked with an A+, and changed the topic from, you know, racial discrimination to a list of issues white women care about. There's nothing original. It's not parody, because you're not making fun of anything, of it. you know, you're not sort of um, sending it up, you're not using the opportunity to make fun of stuff that was in the original, you've taken stuff in the original and you've put in what appear to be serious issues, like pay gaps and, and issues of rape, but you haven't actually transformed it in any meaningful way. It's so badly done, it's so poorly done, that all it really comes across as it comes across as a white woman's attempt to get famous off the work of a black artist. I'm just going to call it like I see it, and that's totally what I see you doing. You see a moment of fame that a black man is having, and you're jumping on it so that you can get a piece of that dollar. That's it. That's your only motivation. You don't actually have anything of interest to say. You don't have any social commentary. You don't bring anything new to the discussion. You're just hopping on the bandwagon, hoping for attention. And all you've done in the process is make all white women look bad. That's the only thing you've achieved, is to set us all back by your selfishness and narcissism. So stealing other people's ideas and appropriating it for your own discussion points that you don't even really present that seriously or thoughtfully, that is obviously the main critique I have of your video. Building on this point of narcissism and whitewashing. You have, in your video, basically taken issues that you think of, like, I guess I said, the pay um, disparity, rape, um, cosmetics, and the obsession with beauty. Um, but you take all of the issues from a white woman's perspective. So you aren't making any effort in your video to address issues that are um, facing black women, especially high maternal death rates in the United States, or the fact that uh, black women are incarcerated far more than white women, or the fact that um, you know black women are more uh, at risk for domestic violence than white women. There are so many intersections where race or ethnicity and class and, um, and gender can all intersect, and you could have in theory, taken some of these issues and made it an extension of the original video and make it specifically about the kinds of issues women of color face and then wish some issues that all women face. But you didn't. You, you basically seem to hide behind the dancers in your video, so you have some women of color and you have some men of color, but the issues themselves are just seem to be a random list. And it seems to be a list that you came up with out of the top of your head. Now, this is, I'm, I'm being very generous and, and, and assuming that there are these topics in your video because frankly, your singing slash rapping is so poorly enunciated, so poorly articulated, and the fact that you don't even include the lyrics as part of the timestamp closed captioning, I can't understand most of what you're saying. So your message can't even come across because you can't be understood. So it's really all about you, Nicole, and your ideas and whatever you wanted to throw into this video. There is no real engagement with issues. There is just narcissism. That's all I really see in the video. It's not a social commentary. It's not a social critique. It's about Nicole Arbor, who is using her own things that she knows about in her world to fill content 
up enough in a video to ride on the coattails of a much more talented black artist. Again, that's what I see. Finally, the thing I want to say about this, Nicole, this is not your time. <laughs> this is not the time to be appropriating other people's work and trying to make it about you. The amazing thing about This Is America is that it has sparked a conversation in a way that's very unique and original. It has sparked a conversation about gun violence, about societal acceptance of violence, of racism, of oppression, of systems of oppression through art, through a music video, not from a mass shooting, not from some national tragedy, but an artist actually producing, artists working together to produce something so engaging, captivating, intriguing, that people from all walks of life are being pulled in to think about it and watch it and discuss it and all of the issues that go along with it, all of the problems it speaks to, all of the systematic inequalities that it speaks to, and what have you done? You have turned this moment in time You've taken the energy, enthusiasm, and momentum of a discussion about societal issues crucial to people's quality of life, and you've just thrown in a bunch of lazy lyrics that are little more than word swapping um, and reappropriating all of the images, but not in a thoughtful or meaningful way. It's terrible. The video you've done is terrible and it's not it's terrible because you it was so lazy unthoughtful narcissistic and completely oblivious to racial the racial energies and ideas that were in the original it so i really wish you wouldn't have made this nicole it is it just is an example of all the problems that people point to when they talk about how white people deal with issues of race and what you've done is you made it all about you instead of actually engaging with the issues of the video. You've whitewashed it insofar as you've made the topics white feminist topics, issues of white middle class, upper class women. Not all women, even though you called it the women's edit. And you tried to put representation of women of color in your video, but there's not a thematic link that you're showing oppression in various forms. And if you tried, you failed. It, again, your singing is unclear, your rapping is not at all well enunciated, uh, the themes seem to be picked at random, driven more by convenience in the rhyme than any meaningful attempt to convey ideas from your side. Please don't do this again. I mean, I know you've had many controversial videos in the past, but this one was awful. And it just makes me embarrassed to be a white woman. That's the only thing you've accomplished for me, Nicole. You've made me shake my head and go, I get when people complain about the way white women react. That is exactly the kind of thing people complain about. So my thoughts, for what they're worth, terrible, terrible video. Please don't ever try anything like this again. Think, don't steal, be original, say something meaningful. And with that, for the guys who are watching who are not Nicole, everybody else, and chances are Nicole won't watch this either. I just want to say my closing bit. I've been Christy. You've been awesome. Thanks for listening to me rant on my lunch hour. And now it's time for me to have one last cup of tea and be on with some writing. So, goodbye till next time.